We've put new valve covers on this El Camino, and as a result, there's some plumbing changes going on here. So here's the deal. Let's first have a look at the old valve covers. And what we've got here are an oil fill, a port for a breather valve, and then another port over here that the pollution control valve was on. Now, when the new valve covers went on, they were one hole short of what we had there. And here's the deal. When I take off the oil fill cap, this explains everything. In this case, the new one, the oil fill cap also acts as the breather. So we're gonna have an intake here. So when you have your new valve covers, what you might notice is that it seems like I don't have enough holes to plug everything back in. That's because again, my breather is coming here. When you put in your pollution control valve, it always has to be opposite the breather. So on your new valve covers, your pollution control valve is gonna end up on the other side, possibly in another position. And as a result, you might have to do a little bit of replumbing there. Now, if we chose not to go this route, in other words, if we kept the valve covers, but went with a new air cleaner, like I've got here, what you'll find is that they've got knockouts on here. Those knockouts are there to accept fittings like this. The fitting would then let me connect my breather. So you just have to have a look at what you're doing, how the parts go together, and be cognizant of the fact that when we do an upgrade, like we did on this vehicle, there's a chance there that you're gonna be one hole short, again, because your oil intake, your oil fill cap is acting as both a fill cap and a breather in this case.